a shell of mass m uh, is raised initially it explodes into three fragments having mass in the ratio 2s to 2s to 1 if the fragments having equal mass fly off along mutually perpendicular direction with a speed v the speed of third fragment is now see it is given that we have a shell of mass m which is ex which explodes into three fragments whose ratio is 2s to 2s to 1 so i can write 2x plus 2x plus x is equal to m so 5x is equal to m so x is equal to 0.2 m right <clears throat> so the mass m1 m1 can be written as m1 is equal to 2x which is equal to 0 0.4 value of x is 0 0.2 m2 is equal to 2x which is equal to 0 0.4 m and m3 is equal to x which is equal to 0 0.2 m so m1 and m2 have same masses m3 has 0 0.2 m now equal mass flies perpendicular to each other this is m1 and this is m2 now what is the velocity of the third fragment now, according to law of conservation of energy we can write the net now see <coughs> the net momentum here is conserved let's say third fragment is moving in this direction so we can write p1 that is p vector is equal to p1 vector plus p2 vector right so this can be written as m3 uh, or p3 vector is equal to p1 vector plus p2 vector m3 v3 vector is equal to m1 v1 vector plus m2 v2 vector or m3 v3 is equal to under root of this m1 m1 v1 square plus m2 v2 square so we can write here it as m3 is 0.2 m into v3 is equal to m1 is 0.4 m v1 is v square plus 0.4 m v square to so 0.4 m v 0.2 m v3 is equal to uh, under root of 2 into 0.4 m v this m this m get cancel out 0.2 and 0.4 get cancel out v3 is equal to 2 times root 2 into v 2 root 2 v 2 root 2 v means option c is a correct one